Hello Linux lovers, today we have the best 5 games released this week for your Linux system, including a new release from Valve for the Steam Deck. Ok, let's start shall we? Human Apocalypse, Reverse Horror Zombie, released 28 February. It is a game set in a post-post-apocalyptic world focusing on story, characters, decisions, and exploration. There's a jump scare in the first 30 seconds of gameplay, which at first I found great since it gets you engaged but then I realized it's just a cheap way of engaging your audience as opposed to meaningful storytelling. Speaking of storytelling, the premise is really great and I love the idea, but this game is so empty it's turned me away from it as fast as it got my interest. There is no proper aesthetic to speak of the plaza where everything is, is just a massive wasteland interrupted by different buildings. There's no life to the game and it totally breaks the immersion. I can praise the game on its music but it feels cheap. Scores, cost 4, look 2, idea 4, play 1. Total 11. How to take off your mask, remastered, released 4th March. Is the return of the cute fantasy visual novel as a remastered version. Now with animated user interface, lips and eyes movement. Plus 60 frames per second and HD resolution. This is what I'd call a very casual visual novel. I really liked the concept of the game a lot. It was fun to play, the music was awesome, and the artwork was so cute. The only problem I had with this game was the price and how long the game actually was. Without getting all of the achievements on the game, I played approximately 4 hours. A simple story that's short and not deep about a girl that finds out one day she's half werecat. It has full Japanese voice acting but if you don't like cute anime shenanigans the voices might annoy you. I recommend buying it on sale because it's so short. Scores, cost 3, look 3, idea 3, play 3. Total 12. Ari's Journey, released 3rd March, is a retro precision platformer in a top-down view. It is a very challenging game. But in a good way. It definitely makes you want to try again and again. After just one hour I felt myself getting better and better at the timing and learning the quirks of the ship's movements. The fact that there's an added story is very nice as well. I was expecting it to be a platformer alone on its own but the presence of a story to keep you attached rather than the gameplay alone is a very nice touch. It did take me forever to realize you could hold the boost button to go into a slow-mo mode and better aim your jets forward as it doesn't mention holding the button down when it tells you the other couple of controls. But all in all this is a very challenging and fulfilling game with added story. Anyone who likes platformers will like this game. Scores, cost, 3, look 2, idea 3, play 5, total 13. Bomb Club Deluxe, released 1st March, is an explosive puzzle game. It revolves around the titular Bomb Club, a club of four people who like detonating bombs for fun. One day they find that a ton of bombs that have been left lying around, which is of course a safety hazard so they need to be safely detonated in one single chain reaction. That's what the goal of each level is, generally. There's a whole host of different types of bombs with different effects, some of which are quite similar, so don't confuse them, a whole host of different hats, which do various things to bombs, and a host of different level types, with various goals auxiliary to the main goal of clearing all the bombs in a single chain reaction. Later levels involve bombs that should not be detonated, bombs that move, bombs that move other bombs, bombs that disappear other bombs from existence, all the good stuff. Difficulty-wise this is definitely a game for the more casual audience. Scores, cost 4, look 3, idea 4, play 4. Total 15. Aperture Desk Job, released 1st March is a free playable short made for the Steam Deck, set in the universe of the modestly popular Portal games. Essentially a prequel mini-story to the Portal series of games, you do need a controller with no immediate indication of keyboard and mouse options being added in the future, however as it is a Steam Deck tech demo, most of the gameplay is designed around displaying how to use the actual controller in games. You can find a controller to keyboard mapper open source app with a simple Google search to enjoy this ludicrous little story. It is short, silly, 
entertaining and well worth the download. Equally enjoyable for Portal fans and those ignorant to the iconic Valve offerings. Scores, Cost 5, Look 5, Idea 4, Play 2. Total 16. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please either like or subscribe. Goodbye.